now we will talk about the importance of cell division why cell division occur there are three major objectives development and growth regeneration and asexual reproduction cells need to divide there are few uh, parts of our bodies or animals bodies which do not grow they do not uh, require a cell division as uh, uh, we previously talked about the neurons and nerve cells they do not divide they remain in g not phase throughout their lives uh, so they do not divide they do not need division uh, but many other cells of the body they require a continuous growth for example um, our uh, skin cells they need continuous growth our skin cells are continuously uh, falling down and new cells are forming uh, cells in our stomach they are also very important cells and they are exposed to different ph due to um, entrance of the food its digestion and other processes so the cells of stomach need to be replaced again and again in all of these um, uh, tissues like the stomach or in our mouth our cheek cells on our skin and many other cell types they need to grow and for growth they need to divide um, and this is very important that they divide in um, same type of cells with same number of chromosomes so mitosis is a is a very very important process which is required for the tissue uh, and the organ growth for the tissue growth for the um, growth of the um, uh, organism as a whole and so on uh, there is another requirement if sometimes uh, organism's body is uh, wounded uh, it is injured for example we uh, we uh, hit our hand on uh, some hard surface and our finger is injured um, an animal uh, has injured when it is injured its skin cells are cut cut off its muscles they are uh, broken down or something and they have to be replaced for wound healing uh, we also need cell division just like that many times the plants they are also wounded um eaten up by for example uh, an animal uh, cut down by uh, by a cat or otherwise they also need to replace their parts so mitosis is very important in uh, the growth of the tissues and in the wound healing there is another very important process in which uh, mitosis helps few organisms can replace or remake their lost parts for example a starfish um which have usually five arms uh if its one arm is uh, broken or cut off uh, or we can say amputated by a predator it can remake its whole arm uh, by the process of we call regeneration it can regenerate its whole arm um it is able to regenerate the arm with the help of the cell division or the mitosis because we know that mitosis is the cell division in the somatic cells um the cells other than the germline cells in some other organisms uh the regeneration also takes place for example the lizards uh they also can uh, replace their lost tail many times what happen that uh, a lizard is escaping from its predator it is successful to escape but the predator uh, somehow breaks down its tail lizards also replace their tail um with the help of mitosis the cell division uh so it means that organisms can um, um uh, divide their cells to uh, produce new cells for the tissue growth um for the wound healing and uh, for the regeneration of their lost parts um cells also use mitosis a uh, few organisms also use mitosis for the asexual reproduction there are uh, unicellular um, uh, few unicellular organisms which is actually reproduce um by the help of this um simple cell division um the mitosis so mitosis or cell division is a very important process um now we see that what happen if uh, if there are errors in um, in mitosis uh, there may be different types of errors um, in the mitosis or cell division like uh, particularly mostly uh, what could happen that uh, when the chromosomes uh, uh, divide at the centromere uh, during the during the anaphase when the chromosomes um of course we know that each chromosome at that time consist of sister chromatids and uh, for going uh, 
towards the poles it have to be um, broken apart or it have to be cut off uh, from the center mirror into two sister chromatids and each sister chromatid have to go towards um, one pole um, if sometimes or somehow by a mistake um, they are not cut off they are not broken at center mirror and the whole um, duplicated chromosome goes towards one side then in one cell there will be more chromosome in one daughter cell there will be more chromosome and in the other daughter cell there will be less most probably these cells will not be able to survive um, now this process of cell division is uh, highly regulated as we have seen um, in the uh, in the process of mitosis uh, and in the process of cell cycle particularly that there are different checkpoints uh, controlling mechanisms which always check that whether the cell is um, uh, cell has completely or correctly um, uh, uh, completed the process um, as required for example uh, during the the G1 checkpoint which checks that whether all the materials required for DNA synthesis are complete or um, um, before the M phase or the division phase in the G2 phase are all the materials which are required for the uh, the mitosis the karyokinases are they complete but sometimes what happen uh, and and in and the M checkpoint the mitosis checkpoint itself which checks that whether um, the nuclear division is uh, correctly completed uh, but sometimes what happen that uh, uh, this regulation fails um, and if somehow at some place uh, this regulation is not correct then the result will may be uncontrolled growth of cells uh, the worst sequence is the uncontrolled growth of cells if the cell um, cannot stop dividing after M phase it do not enter into a proper G phase, uh, G naught phase and rest for some time and then go to the interface in as normal but it grows randomly sometimes it happened due to mutations there are certain types of mutations um, due to which uh, mitosis uh, the process of mitosis um, continues uh, uncontrolled and uh, the the checkpoints they are not properly um, uh, checking their uh, uh, their uh, uh, places where they have to check that whether everything is correct the result is this un is the uncontrolled growth of cells um, in no not in the form of normal layers of cell but in the form of um, heaps hum aisa bhi keh sakte hain ki jis tarah se cells jo hain wo ek dher ki shakal mein ban jate hain bajaye iske ki jaise wo normal lines banate hain us tarah banaye the result of this is uh, tumors we call uh, these heaps of cells tumors uh, if these tumors um, are just present but um, but they are uh, uh, they are not uh, like growing further or they are damaging start damaging other tissues and uh, second thing they do not break off from their places jo cells ke dher hain wo usi tarah rahe aur dusre ird gird ke jo tissues hain उनको उनको ख़राब ना करें और अपनी जगह से टूट कर दूसरे टिश्यूज़ में या दूसरी या ब्लड में या और जगहों पर ना जाएं तो हम इनको कहते हैं बिनाइन ट्यूमर्स दिस ट्यूमर्स आर कॉल्ड बिनाइन ट्यूमर्स बिनाइन का मतलब है कि जो नुकसान नहीं पहुँचाते हार्मलेस ट्यूमर्स बट समाइम्स वट हैपन दैट दीज ट्यूमर्स दे बिकम वी कॉल मेलिगनेंट दे बिकम कैंसरस दे स्टार्ट ग्रोइंग वेरी फास्ट their size increases a lot and uh, the cells from these tumors they break off and go to the blood circulation and through blood circulation they reaches other tissues and makes tumors there as well so uh, when these uh, these cells which are broken off from the uh, original tumor they go to different tissues and they can make uh, secondary tumors at these places um we call them we call this uh, state or situation uh, metastasis which is the spread of the um, cancerous cells or the cancer uh, which is the very dangerous stage at which uh, treatment of this cancer become uh, very very difficult uh, so uncontrolled growth of cell uh, may result in uh, very serious consequences